Well, that what I know, be? there have been stories about white people killing Tobo wearing marks. According to his wife, I have not talked to his wife. But I was working at Hotel Africa when the coup took place. I was going to LU. And I know that those men that did the overthrow celebrated. The OPRC celebrated with the U.S. Army officers that were training them from the U.S. military mission at Sasa Disco, Hotel Africa. And I sat in their company. The conversations I listened to, I concluded and deduced that they were part of it. Because Talbot was a progressive president, so to speak, within the international community. I said earlier that probably the U.S. did not like Talbot because he was not the kind of leader that they could pull by their nose. By the nose. So probably, and his brother was there buying up every company, insulting U.S. ambassador, Steve. So what, what do you think? In fact, declassified information that we are able to put our hands on. Even the execution of the 13 men, OK had to come from Washington, D.C. And the reason why they said the OK for the 13 men to die is because they wanted to put the fear of God in the progressive people in this country, the Amos Sawyer, the Tipotes, the Bama Fambulas, so that when, when, the, when the PRC execute them, they will be a fresh small and get in their shell. We were living in the era of the Cold War, and every progressive was seen as a socialist. So the U.S. was trying to fight, look for enemies where there were none. I don't see any socialist in Liberia. How come Matthew claimed that he was a socialist? I don't think he was. He supported a free enterprise system. I'm not a socialist myself. I've never been. I'm a revolutionary democrat.